Hi everyone, my name is Amelia Knapp. I am the captain of the Queen's Women's Squash Team. I am here today to walk you guys through what I'm doing to stay active during this quarantine and make sure that we are upholding the standards of self-isolation and social distancing that are really important. So I'm just at home, I'm using a small space in my basement. This workout requires no equipment and you can do it outside with the mat or inside, it's totally up to you. Get the music going, get our heart rates up. So in order to uh, sort of coincide with my squash based workouts, I like to do some ghosting. So that can be pretending to hit a ball with the, and doing the lunges without any equipment, just to keep my mind focused in on what I need to be doing on the court. And I like to do that sort of as a warm up. Otherwise good warm ups for this are some dynamic stretching. So we can get into our lunges, world's greatest stretch where you touch your elbow to your ankle and we twist up. Some other ones, good stretches and warm-ups can be high knees, high knees in place, toe touches, and some arm swings. Do what you need to do to get warmed up. You want to be sweating a little bit during your warm-up to make sure that you're ready to go for the workout. So the style of this workout is going to be sort of a high-intensity interval training workout, otherwise called HIT. So it's going to be 30 seconds of work and 30 seconds of break. That 30 seconds of break is very important to get your heart rate back low so that you can really push yourself during that 30 seconds. I would do about four rounds of this if you want to do less or more, whatever works for your comfort level. So there's going to be five different exercises. So the first one, and I'm going to show a version that can be a bit more challenging and a version that's a bit more easy if you want to work your way up, whatever works for you. So the first exercise is going to be a version of a burpee. So we start off with a jump in the air, and then we go into an inchworm. Walk your way down into a plank. We want to keep our core strong and our butts low, and we're going to do some jumping jacks. One, two, three, and four. Walk yourself back up, and then do a jump. To make this a bit easier, we can avoid the jump. Take it out completely. Walk yourself down. One, two, three, and four. Walk yourself back up and go back down. I understand it can be a little bit hard on the flexibility to do the inchworm. Feel free to bend your knees to get yourself down. So then we're going to take our 30 second break and then move into our second workout, which is going to be a core focused exercise. So on the ground, the more advanced version of this workout is going to be without the use of our arms. So we're going to start laying on our backs. So you want to focus on keeping that lower back on the ground. And then we're going to pull ourselves up into a sort of a V-sit, touch our hands to our ankles on the outside, inside, outside, inside. Lay yourself back down and repeat that. That's two on the outside and two on the inside. To make this a little bit easier, you can use your hands, place them at your sides, help yourself up, bring your knees to your chest for four reps. One, two, three, and four. Lower yourself back down and repeat. Then we're going to take our 30 second break and continue on into our third exercise. So our third exercise is one of my favorites. It's going to be some split lunges. And this is very applicable to bring onto the squash board as it involves a lot of lunges and it includes that stamina piece that we all love. So the, the third exercise, we're going to start in a lunging position with our knee to the ground. You can bring your, I bring my hands together. You can do whatever you want. And we're going to jump, keeping our core stable and our shoulders up just like this. If you're looking to make this exercise a bit easier, we can do a jump and then bring your knee up into the air, focusing on that stability. Another jump, knee up into the air. Bring that knee as high as you can, just like that. All right, so moving into our fourth exercise, we're going to do a version of a squat. So the more advanced version of this workout would be a squat where we keep our shoulders high, our feet about shoulder width apart. We go down, we want to squeeze our glutes, and we're going to take that opposite shoulder to that opposite knee. So the twist, keeping our core strong and really focusing on that core aspect, including our legs. So we go down, and we twist, down, and twist. Make this a little easier, we'll add the pulse aspect. So we'll go one squat, you can pulse at the bottom if you'd like, or bring it all the way up to a squat. One, and then we twist. Squat and then we twist. All right, so then we take that 30 second break, and the final is, exercise is going to be another version of a burpee. I love these ones, I find them, they really are easy to bring your heart rate up and challenge yourself. So it's going to be a jump, and then you're going to go down onto your knees, 
and back up. I understand this can be a bit difficult on some harder surfaces, so you can bring out a mat. If that's too difficult, just do a regular burpee. Jump, bring your hands out, back, up. You can even add a push up if that's something that interests you. But for this version, we're gonna go jump, bring down to our knees and back up, then jump and down to our knees. After about 15 seconds, you wanna make sure you're switching which knee you're going down on to keep it consistent. So I go left knee down and back up. For this one, you're trying to keep your upper body as stable as possible so you're not swaying to the side when you're going down. If we're looking to make this a little bit easier, I would eliminate the jump aspect. Hold stable, focus on that core and that stability. Just go down and up and down and up for 30 seconds. Then we'll take that 30 second break. Okay guys, make sure you do a cool down after this workout. Repeat it as many times as you'd like. Let's keep that fitness up and make it applicable to squash. Thank you for joining me and follow us on our social media accounts at Queen's Arc for some daily tips as well. Get, check in on um, gogalesgo.com slash queensgetsactive for some equipment that you can use instead of gym equipment at home.